Mr. Rucker, I'd like to begin with you. Uh, I have to begin with your crosstown competition over at The Times. They just in the last few minutes have moved this story. The headline is Bolton objected to Ukraine pressure campaign calling Giuliani a hand grenade. This is by our friends Peter Baker and Nick Fandos, and it reads in part, the effort to pressure Ukraine for political help provoked a heated confrontation inside the White House last summer that so alarmed John Bolton, then National Security Advisor, that he told an aide to alert White House lawyers, House investigators were told on Monday, quote, I am not part of whatever drug deal Rudy and Mulvaney are cooking up, Mr. Bolton told Fiona Hill to tell White House lawyers, according to the testimony. Phil, you have reported on the frenzy that followed the first word of the whistleblower. It seems to me it has nowhere to go now but to continue, as this is all Ukraine all the time. Yeah, I think that's right, Brian. This is incredible reporting tonight uh, by The New York Times, and congratulations to them, because it takes you right to the belly of the beast. We're not talking about intelligence officials or national security uh, council members whose names we do not know. We're talking about Giuliani, Bolton, Mulvaney. These are the key figures in President Trump's orbit. Uh, there have been a lot of questions of late about John Bolton, the national security advisor who departed only a month or so ago uh, very abruptly and on bad terms with President Trump. There have been questions about what he might know, what he might have witnessed, what he might have been aware of regarding uh, the conduct and, and the relationship with Ukraine, uh, both President Trump's but also his attorney, Rudy Giuliani. And now we're starting to get a clearer picture of all of that. Uh, this revelation, this testimony from Fiona Hill today uh, has to be troubling for the White House. It also points directly to the White House chief of staff, the acting chief of staff, Mick Mulvaney. We we know from our reporting a, a month or so ago that it was Mulvaney uh, who withheld uh, the, the military aid for Ukraine at the direction of President Trump. So he was involved in this scenario uh, in that moment with the decision about the military aid. But now we're learning that he was a part of what Bolton characterized as a drug deal. A.B., uh, you kind of know what question is coming. I ask it to you with regularity. Uh, does this have the power, this Ukraine matter writ large, does it have the power to do what other stories have not, and that is make distance between Republicans and their president? Well, it's interesting, Brian, the um, catastrophic uh, decision over Syria uh, to permit the, the, the Turkish government to, to invade uh, at the border has so taken up all the oxygen. And you know that, that members of Congress are back from a two-week recess and really spent the day lambasting uh, the administration for its response. Now they're in sort of a, a wagon circling cleanup mode where uh, Lindsey Graham is leading the effort, the senator from South Carolina. It's all hands on deck. He is not the chairman of the Armed Services Committee. He is not the chairman of the Foreign Relations Committee, but he is telling everyone that they should come around to support whatever Trump is doing. Uh, president Erdogan has underestimated both the senator and the president. And, you know, Pence, as you mentioned, is leaving to also go and clean this up overseas. So they continue to talk about that and hope that that continues to sort of be the headline and they're, you know, rushing to the rescue and they're going to try to keep Trump on one position. He often changes his mind. We will see what this explosive testimony does, though, um, to their opinions about this. They've done their level best to stay quiet. Uh, but uh, as Phil points out, the idea that obviously John Bolton has known all along about the way these decisions were made who was involved from Mike Pompeo to Mike Pence, from Mick Mulvaney to Rick Perry, people at the highest level of the government, if not conspiring, knowing exactly what was going on. And it's making Republicans incredibly nervous because they have no idea from day to day what revelations will come next. Wow. Michael Steele, what she just said. Exactly. A.B. just laid it out. She laid out the indictment of, of the situation as it stands right now in such a way that, yeah, there are a lot of nervous Republicans coming back to Washington this week. Lindsey Graham can be on point all day long. It doesn't matter. The vice president can go uh, to, to Turkey. He can go to the moon at this point. It doesn't matter because the revelations that are coming and, and that are coming out now and will come out the rest of this week, they don't know. And, and they don't know how it's going to land. And so 
a lot of Republicans have taken a position, just keep our mouths shut and keep our head low. And then maybe we'll get through the next few days or the next week uh, with little small implosions around us, not big ones. And here's the difference, Mr. Chairman. People from the inside are now coming forward and talking. Yeah, and that's something they never expected. And certainly, uh, you know, the White House throwing around executive privilege on everything yeah. has used that completely up. It has no value, uh, certainly with the Congress at this point. And it has, I think, less and less value with the American people because we want to know exactly what they know and what they knew at the time, what they did, what the president did. The president dictated that text. All right. He put the words out on the street that there was no quid pro quo. Uh, so this is this is now becoming more and more revealed. And and folks sit back and go, maybe there is a there there. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.